So for week three, we're going to add the foot position, the plank, to the deadlift and the swing. So when you add the foot position, you got the foot position by using the slides, or you can just squeeze your glutes and rock back and forth on your feet. Um, you get that good foot position so that you can get a maximal glute contraction at the top of the swing. And then um, the plank is again at the top of the swing, where every single muscle in your body is tight. From here down, everything is working. That's what makes the swing so special. Uh, so for deadlifts, you're gonna sit your hips back, Foot position is in the right is in a good right angle, and then you grab the kettlebell and you're actually going to push down through your feet. So when I teach the deadlift, I don't think stand up with the weight. I think push down through your feet and push your hips forward, and the the consequence is the weight is lifted. But it's not that you're trying to lift the weight. When you're trying to lift the weight, it'll look like this. You're pulling up with your upper body. If you're pushing down through your feet, the weight is lifted by using your legs rather than your upper body and your back. So you're going to sit your hips back, and then at the top, you're going to be in that good plank, pushing your feet down into the floor, pulling your quads up, pulling your inner thighs together. I'll get in this angle. Uh, pulling your inner thighs together, squeezing your glutes, Pressing your shoulders down, reaching your chest forward, tightening your abs. Every single muscle in your body is tight, just like a total body tension plank. 